Hi guys, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new here. Thank you for joining me today. Oh, I'm so excited. Right, so I've done a haul, but you probably won't see that for a while. I've got some goodies to show you. I recently saw that Revolution were doing their Game of Thrones collaboration and I love Game of Thrones so, so much. It's like I got to the party a bit late in watching the show that I was hooked and I'm loving the new series as well, House of Dragon. Um, so I've been watching that and I'm up to date with it practically. I think I've got like 10 minutes to watch on the fourth episode that's out at the moment on Now TV. Um, it's on um, Sky Atlantic, I think, or something like that. Um, so yeah, I'm up to date on the new episodes going out on Monday. I got a couple of pieces from the Revolution collaboration, um, so I got this lovely Game of Thrones Forever Flawless Mother of Dragons palette. So itching to use this. I mean look at that packaging though, it is so so gorgeous. I was kind of um and ah and I would like all of them, but money's tight and I chose the one that suited me the best and when I open it up you'll see why. I mean. The packaging gives it away really, it's very warm. Um, so I'm going to do it this way. So that's what it looks like. It's just an absolutely beauty of a palette. So, so stunning. I'm really looking forward to using it today. And then I got a lipstick as well with it. So the lipstick I chose that I was more drawn to, I, wa I wanted to get the Sansa Stark one. That looks really, really nice and I'll probably get that at a later date but I chose this one so this is the Game of Thrones Cersei Lannister lipstick and I was drawn to that more than any of the others just purely because I love a good red if you've been around the channel for a while you'll know I love reds normally it's orange based but they didn't have anything like that is this one here um, it looks really really nice it's, it's drying a little bit but it's taking a while to dry so I've just filmed the haul and that's when I did the swatch. That was a few minutes ago, it's still not dried down. Um, so yeah, um, that's Cersei Lannister. Like I said, I do want to try more of them. Um, but what I do want to try is this palette. Right. Oh, I need to get... Right, so I might struggle to pronounce some of these names in this palette. If I do, you'll just have to kind of excuse that. Shall we zoom in? Right, so now we're moving over to the palette. Now, already just looking at the palette, they've done it right because you've got a black in here everyone needs a black um, and then you've got this like cream ivory shade here and I always need one of those in a palette um, so we're going to use it so <clears throat> I'm not sure if it's pronounced Essos or Esos I think it's Essos I'm sure you guys I'm sure you guys will put me right if it's not so I'm just putting that oh it's darker Right, I have to try and blend that all the way up then. That is way darker than I thought. That's more of a blending out shade and I just thought it was like a cream ivory shade. So just be aware guys that they're darker than they look in the pan. Okay. What now? Get the Jaclyn Hill brushes. Right, so I definitely want to stick to this half of the palette here. Um, this one here, Dragonfire, is calling my name, I think. So I think we'll use that. I think I'm going to go in with Rebellious Thirst. 
that one there. So I've had the mirror was just in your face. I'm not too sure whether to use the JH32 or the JH33. In fact, I might go in. So I want it really in the crease. I might go in with the JH40. Right, so rebellious. Really getting it in that crease, guys. I like it because it's really orange toned, but also it's got smoky colours like on the other side of the palette, so um, you can do quite a smoky look as well. So I'm just building Rebellious up. And we'll put it here, just in the outer corner. So this is going to be a very orange look today guys and I was surprised when I heard this was the Halloween collection for this year because I don't really see Game of Thrones as being really scary but but then again they brought Simpsons out last year didn't they and um, they put kind of a twist on it um, and I didn't see that as a scary collaboration either and then the corpse bride that one was slightly more scarier but I don't suppose it has to be scary to be classed as Halloween right I want to go in now with this beautiful yellow persistence I'm hoping you can see this I'll use a different brush for that I'm going to be using the JH33 blend it out a bit I think it's going to look more brown now so we won't go in too much with that as I don't want to mute the colour right I need slightly a bit more orange on the right side so I'm going to go back in with Rebellious Right, so I want a little bit of red in. I'm not too sure whether I want to use Khaleesi or Blood. Blood looks darker, let's use that. And I want to use the same brush. <coughs> so I'm going to, I've taken all the colour off it. I'm going to go in with the JH40. I could definitely do with duplicates of these brushes. Right, so... just on the outer V and now I want to go in with this one <clears throat> Dragonfire. That's odd. Oh, I think there's three shimmers. I was going to say, out of that nine pan down here, there's only, what, two shimmers, but I feel like there's three. I feel like Dragonfire is a shimmer, um, Queen's a shimmer, 
and also dragon. Right, so I've got an idea of what I want to do. Oh, it's falling. Right, so we're going in with Dragonfire now and I'm using this packing on brush. It's CJH41. Beautiful. Right, we need some glitter glue. It's got a lot of glitter in it, so we need some glitter glue. I'm just using the W7 Sparkle Slay. If you live in the UK, it is very inexpensive. Less than £5 to buy, so I would highly recommend it. Right, so let's start on the right eye again. So... Dragon fire. Oh, that's better. We're just going to build that up. I'm going to leave a gap because I want to put the other shimmer. Oh, this is looking beautiful. Very autumnal. Yeah, I'm going to leave the gap here. But I'm still going to build this up. Right, that should be enough. Let's work on the left eye. Yeah, so going into it, you definitely need a glitter glue. Or it could work just by using um, your fingers. But I feel like that particular shade would give hard pan just because it does have glitters in it. So I'll, I wouldn't recommend you going in with your fingers on that shade. equal oh my gosh I am in love with that shimmer right so I need to just wipe this off right so now I feel like the only shade that we can use is in the corner is this queen shade here it's just like a really pretty gold and this is the same formula it's really weird it's like a glitter It's definitely like a glitter. If you went in with your fingers on these shades, you'd give it hard pan. So, best not to do that, guys. I'm sure you'd know that anyway, if you saw the palette for yourself, I'm sure. Because you can see the glitters in it. It's absolutely beautiful. I think for lash line, I was going to use my Meg by Mitchell orange eyeliner that I've got, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I think for lash line, I'm going to use a different shade in the palette. I don't want to use something as dark as blood, just purely because it'll make me look like I've got red eye, um, or pink eye, should I say. I'm going to go in with Khaleesi, though. Then we've practically used all the shades. That's mad. I've only done one look. That brush I'm not a fan of for doing this. I use this just right when I've got. Go back into Khaleesi. Right, 
Right, mascaras. I think I'm just going to go in with Essence of False Lashes. I feel like if you put glitter glue on anyway, you shouldn't need to go in with your fingers or wet your brush because it just becomes pigmented. And that, oh, I put my hand in the black. I've dinted it. Look at that. I've not even used the black yet. I'm glad it's a shade that I don't really use much. And my fingernail is all black. Let me go and wash that. Can't believe I did that again. Um, what I want to do now is, with the brow bone, just go with my Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette just using the white chocolate shade and ignore the brows guys I went a bit happy clappy with the brow tint and they've come out black instead of brown thank goodness it only lasts for 30 days I think within a couple of weeks it'll go brown or a week or so I'm hoping they will anyway. Um, lipstick. So where is it? So the new lipstick, I'm, it's still really, really sticky and it's been at least 10, 15 minutes since I put it on the back of my hand. So I'm not too sure how I'm going to feel about these. That's why I only got the one. And not only that, when I placed the order, I realised they had £5 worth of rewards. So if you're on the reward system with Revolution, just and you want to place an order for for this or anything else just check your reward points first because sometimes you'll have enough points for five pound off and it's just smart shopping isn't it so that's what i do anyway so yeah we're just gonna go on with this one <coughs> i don't know if i like the doll foot guys it's really, really thick. Right, so as I was saying, I don't know if I like the doe foot. It's really, really thick. It's like a concealer doe foot. And I feel like it should be a little bit smaller just to get into the kind of crevices of your lips. Um, the colour is really, really nice. It's really, really pigmented. And it smells divine. But I don't know if I'll get more seems to be drying down now it's a really really pretty colour and I think it goes really really nice with the palette that I chose so I did choose the right colour for that there are three separate palettes that you can get there's a neutral one don't I don't recall the names of them and then there's a blue one the blue one just speaks Beauty Dreams by Naomi I sent her the picture and she said oh I do actually like that it, it just to me it speaks Naomi um, the neutrals one is nice I'm really getting into neutrals again at the moment, so that's why I was drawn to it. Um, and I had a conversation with Karen because she is a neutrals girl, and I think she was leaning towards that palette first, but then decided on getting this one. Um, so yeah, we're twinning. Um, so when your palette comes, I hope you like it, Karen. It's just really, really pretty. The packaging is pretty. I'd say this packaging is better than the other packagings that they do. I feel like I might get the neutrals one maybe next month and then I'll get the Sansa Stark lipstick and we'll see how that looks. But I am not disappointed that I spent my money on this. It was something that I didn't budget for. I didn't even know it was coming out to be fair. I just saw like kind of teasers for it. So again, that's what the palette looks like um upside down that's what it looks like we use pretty much every eyeshadow apart from Dothraki I think it's called again I never know how to pronounce these names yeah I definitely want to do a more smoky look um with these shades down here I think it's been put together really really cleverly because You've got like you kind of tones here when you don't want to go really, really smoky. And then they put the smokier side on here. 
um so I, I do feel like they put it together it's not all jumbled like they could have put like the browns over here with the oranges you know i feel like it's been put together quite well i'm mad at myself for gouging crow here um so well that's my fault it's not the palette's fault it didn't come like that um it's my stupid thumb but yeah uh, this right okay so that's not pleasant so every time like because it's wet because it's been wet we've got transfer here let's see if i can add a bit more and just not do that just not purse them together because now they're all streaky right so okay i've done that i'll let you know what i think in editing um but so far i mean i do like the lipstick but i i won't like it if if it doesn't dry down if it just remains sticky because that's what the Maybelline Super Stays are like they remain sticky and I don't wear them that much because of that um so yeah we're gonna leave it here guys thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one bye guys